Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything in your world is fabulous. Everything here is good. And on that note, let's talk about Patreon. Now, I was somewhat aware of the Patreon situation, uh, and then a few of you have made me very aware of the Patreon situation. And apparently Patreon is changing the way that creators get paid by charging the patrons more. It's essentially what it comes down to. Um, charging the patrons a flat fee for, for their patronage, and then the patron... No. The creator uh, gets paid a flat, uh, a flat 95%. They're saying that, you know, essentially what would happen would be if you donated a dollar a month to a person, say you're going to give a dollar a month to a creator that you enjoy, um, you paid a dollar. That's it. You paid one dollar. And then I would get some percentage of that. And that percentage is based on transaction fees that month versus... I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I never paid attention to it. I just didn't care that much. But um, Patreon takes their cut, which was, I guess that fluctuated. Plus, I covered the cost of the transaction fee, and I just got whatever was left over. And they're saying it was between 7 and 15%. So now, uh, what they plan on doing, or what, they're, what they are doing or did do or whatever, is um, the, uh, the patron you if you want to donate a dollar to me it's not going to cost you like a dollar 35 plus something like plus the transaction fee i think is how it's going to work out so it's going to cost you like a buck 40 to give me a dollar and i don't even get the dollar i get 95 cents and that's a big deal like it's a, i understand it's a big deal because it's People are like, oh, I can't believe people are being upset about $35. But you can understand, like, there's quite a few patrons who support lots of channels. They want to give $20, but they split that up between 20 channels. And so now they have to give $30. That's a significant increase in expenses. You know, for somebody who's giving a channel $20 to pay $0.40 cents more, okay. But that's not the point. Like... I'm not sure who asked for this. Like the way that that Patreon has worded their whole uh, their whole spiel about it is that it's better for the creators. The creators are going to get, you know, they're going to be able to, uh, you know, have a better understanding of what they're getting and uh, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's going to cost the consumer more. Well, I, I didn't ask for that. I never said, man, I really wish I could make more money by screwing over people. That's never like I've never never asked for that. So, um, I, a few of you have reached out. I've got uh, some messages, some DMs, some notifications that, hey, I've, I've closed my Patreon account. Uh, I'm no longer going to be um, paying that way. I'll find another way to support you. And um, honestly, I've been looking at closing my Patreon anyway. Um, I just got a Patreon payment, and uh, every time it happens, I feel so terrible about it. Like, it makes me feel bad that I'm taking your money. Um, because I don't provide any value through Patreon. I got most creators who, who provide a Patreon service, uh, are, are providing value to the patrons. Like if you are my patron, you'll get this, this, and this. And mine has been like, yeah, you get a t-shirt maybe if you do this for three months. And I didn't have any other thing. Like I didn't give, I've never, I haven't posted over there in like a year or more, a year and a half probably. I haven't posted a single thing. Originally I was going to post vlog type things over there on the weekends and that just didn't work out. And so every time that I get that payment, you know, this time it was like $38, almost $40. It just makes me feel bad. Like I feel like I'm just stealing your money because um, I'm doing this regardless of whether you pay me or not. And I, so... I'm closing, I'm just going to shut down the Patreon. Um, it just, it makes me feel icky, and I don't want it to burden you at all, the viewer, ever. Because that's just, I don't even know why I started, like, I started the Patreon, I think, because at that time, it was it was last summer, two summers, summer of 2016, people had said, hey, I'd really love to contribute, you know, 
how can I do that? And I didn't really have a good answer. I was like, oh, you can send me PayPal or something or send me a postcard. Like I'm not. And so I had enough people say, I want to contribute. How can I contribute? I said, okay, fine. I'll open the Patreon. And so I did it. And my intention at that time was the channel was still growing um, and hadn't plateaued yet. And I thought, okay, Patreon, I'll use that in, in the future growth of the channel. And then uh, the channel has never grown since then um, because I, I'm not making, this is the content that I make and it's not the type of content that's going to continue to grow. This isn't the, this isn't the type of channel that's going to continue, um, that's going to ever be successful. Let's put it that way. Uh, so I really don't know why I've kept the Patreon page up this long other than I guess laziness of taking it down, but every time I get paid, I feel bad. So I'm shutting it down completely. Uh, hopefully by the time this is up, there will be no more Patreon, uh, and you won't have to worry about, uh, how that works anymore. And, uh, if you, if you are so inclined, there are options in the links below for supporting me. Um, you can buy merchandise. I make shirts. I, uh, the shirts that I wear that say the daily shed, uh, I'm going to be transitioning that away from me making them. This, this is the screen right here that I use to print the shirts and it's getting pretty, pretty cruddy. The, the, the lines are no longer crisp. And so I either have to have another one printed or I have to make one. And that is annoying. And so I think I'm going to switch to like a Teespring type thing or something like that, because I have some other designs that I'd like to sell. Um, so right now t-shirts are always a thing. Um, there's a link to my Amazon wish list because somebody asked for that. So that's on there. There's a broad range of stuff on there. And then, uh, the easiest way, if you, if you shop on Amazon, there's my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, anytime you buy something from Amazon, just click on that affiliate link first and I'll get paid for whatever you buy for like the next 24 hours. Um, so that's an easy way. It doesn't cost you a dime. It's just a click. So those are some options. Bye bye. Patreon. Uh, Thank you for everybody who donated over the last year and a half. Thank you so much. It's meant a lot to me. And there's been times that it's literally saved the day because that, that 20 bucks or that 30 bucks has been a huge benefit. Um, but right now I, it makes me feel so bad that I just, I have to shut it down. Um, but I love you for it. All of you. Thank you for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Today's random fact comes from Schmoop.com. Who is King Hrothgar? Hrothgar is the king of the Spear Danes when Beowulf arrives in their land, ready to fight the demon Grendel. Many years earlier, Hrothgar paid money to the Wolfgans to resolve a blood feud they had with Echlithal, Beowulf's father. What is Schmoop.com?